Ave Imperators and fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745. So you want a legion, or more than one, and you're playing the new um, Marius Imperator Rome update. Well, here's how you get those. I had a frustration in the beginning, but here's a video on how to do that. But before we get into that, please give the video a like. Subscribe if you're new here, and post your comments below, um, including questions. Right. You want a legion. You click over here. Legion. No, you do not have the right live. I'm really frustrated at the lack of explanation for this game and how it works, but... Um, was helped out a little bit and figured some stuff out for myself. Okay, so this is for Rome, not for all nations. We will look at a couple of other nations here before we're done. It's going to take a few minutes, but okay, you do not have the right laws to recruit a, be able to recruit a nation. Um, yeah, not not helpful. Uh, what you need to do is come over to uh, technology. Um, well. Yeah, no, first we can go to, go to to here and see. Okay, what you need to do for Rome is get Marius's reform. Marian reforms, it's called. Marius. Marius's mules. That's This is where the term comes from, Marius's mules. Marius was the person who instituted professional legions into the Roman system, and they became known because of their um, some of the stuff they had to carry as individual soldiers, as Marius's mules. Okay, so you need to get to here, and you can see the need. How's the invention cohorts? We'll look at that in a second. Um, has one of the following? One of the following must be true. Rome has great power status, which um, I think is five hundred. Um, well, prov or territory or whatever it is exactly. Great power status or receive the military or foreign event chain. I do not know exactly what that is, um, but I presume it's an event chain. And I've gone through it. Then you can have that. But you must first get cohorts. So we need to come down here. We need to uh, look here. And again, I had, didn't know. Press your center mouse button off of your wheel and then move this to around. I know this was incredibly frustrating and here's cohort two paths to get here one this is the fast one i from looking here like this a little better not that you can't i don't think this is a, a binary choice meaning either that you can go either one but um one of these here uh maintenance cost that's particularly i like getting maintenance cost down for units very much so you need to get cohorts you need to get through to here now you start out with eight innovations i'm not quite exactly sure what determines how quickly you get more innovations um after you spend these eight you could probably get right down here but and then you need to go through the um event chain then you can raise legions now what we're going to do here is if you're um go to main menu so that is how you do it for Rome. Different. Player, game. Now, Legion isn't necessarily um, uh, in this game uh, a Roman style legion. It is a permanent standing army. Okay, so we're Athens now. Laws. Well, okay, well, the first legions. We do not have the right law to be able to recruit a legion. Okay, again, not helpful because it doesn't tell us what the laws are needed to get there. Okay, military forms, citizen militias, what we're currently on, noble elite. Provisioning Act. 
so you will be able to raise a legion in the capital when achieved. So you've got to get to the provisioning act. And then you will get a, um, you'll be able to raise a legion, not legions, a legion in the capital region. And here, um, military modernization, you will need to get cohort and have it achieve or get the event or the event, um, a, you know, great power status or an event chain. I don't know what the event chain for um, Athens would be. Um, presume, I'm presuming, just from history, um, and I forget some of the details of much of the details, quite honestly, for Marius's reforms and what was going on. Uh, prior to Marius's reforms, it very much was a um, citizen levy in Rome and to be a citizen you had to go to the fields of Mars outside of the city proper and train um, to to fight and some were what we sort of kind of think of as proper legionnaires you know big shield helmet maybe chain mail or something early on when it was um, a citizen legions, which a citizen legions is just basically handled with levies and um, you know, sword and that type of thing. And then there was the uh, the Vietti or whatever, sort of you know, guys that you know have a small shield, they throw them javelin, they run around. Those were like poor people. Well, and there's also poor Roman legion. Um, citizens that would have a big shield but have just a little small brass brass plate small little square thing a cheaper helmet because you had to provide your own equipment and so um wealth but you all had to be citizens not all citizens were rich you want to be citizens you must go out and practice at the field of mars be assigned basically like a reserved kind of legion okay now um Main menu again. We're going to come to one of the units that, or one of the countries that starts with the Legion. We're going to Ptolemaic Egypt. Okay, here. Military Legion. We have one. We can only have one at this time you um, can add a commander I think which is interesting I think you can when you click here you can create a new unit from it and if you have a so in essence you can um, I think I haven't really let's see, create a new unit. Right, so now we have a new unit. Let's recombine this legion. So we can have this legion. Let's um, back to here. We can add a commander. I want to try this. I haven't actually tried this before. So let's let's throw on. So now we have a secondary commander. He'll take over if the main commander died in battle or otherwise. Now, if we create a new unit, does he automatically? Yep, he automatically takes over the other one. So, even though this is um, sort of a secondary unit, it is all considered to be the Legion. Okay, so you can have one Legion, if you will, but you can break them down into multiple tactical units. Let's combine these back up again. So, um, I want to see, yes, he's staying as secondary commander. Now, if you want to edit the composition, go, oh, hey, this isn't big enough. Well, okay. If you look over here at levies, you can see um, 37 pop from Lower Egypt for additional su um, support units. 
so these are the support units I believe here are the um, the unit that you would raise levy if you want to get this but right now 10 are claimed by this legion here so what we can do though is come over here and go yeah we want another heavy infantry and we want a bowman say so you confirm changes it costs you a bit you confirm changes over here and now your legion is bigger um and here to raise legions we see 13 now claimed to buy stratos of lower egypt and so this is you get one legion yes you can i think it's sort of odd you can break it into smaller components it is your your sort of standing army now again with them currently we start with royal guard which you will be able to raise a legion in your capital region now in a royal army you can you will be able to raise unrestricted number of legions <coughs> excuse me and you need here um has the invention of cohort which we looked at and a great power status which i'm pretty sure is 500 territories So again, the, the, the tech tree is the thing. You just have to get to cohorts. So you gotta get cohorts, you gotta get 500 territories, and then you can raise um, more. So you have mercenary armies, what they call legions. They're, these are standing armies that are yours, and you have the levies that can be raised. That, I think, is it for this and how to um, raise legions adjust legion now what you can still do here is let come here i like kill one of these and go okay i want to bring in step horses sort of like the olden day there okay now we have step horses here notice oh legion now we have the step horses option so we don't have the option to raise more a war elephants just have to import elephants into one of your provinces doesn't have to be your capital province just import um, some elephants and then you can raise more elephants or other um, required you know horses or whatever somewhere in your um, control territory gets you um, additional unit types um, chariot for the new engineering cohort so that's what you need to do for that i hope this helps um like i say post comments below subscribe like share and fun gaming <laughs>